computer is making way too much noise for this. Much better. This is covering my entire setup. Uh, people asked, and like I usually do, I make a video like six months too late. I'll go over everything that I use for MR and then we'll slowly derail from there into just a bunch of random stuff that I have in my setup because I needed a clickbait title with a big number. That way people click on the video. It probably won't work though. I don't know. Anyway, camera. This is the Sony FX3. It's a full frame cinema camera that's kind of a mixture between their cinema line and the Alpha series, which is their mirrorless line. It's basically the equivalent of taking the A7S III and putting it in a cinema body with a couple extra features. Now I didn't need anything this overkill by any means, but I wanted to get a Sony A series for photography and I figured if I went with the video line of the A series, that would be nice to have interchangeable lenses for everything that I wanted to do. Actually, that was a really good mic test because I haven't used the Rode Video Mic Pro much and I turned the gain all the way up on it and then you can really hear the PC fans in the background and it just is clipping slightly. The waveform is just like peaking constantly, so I need to either turn the camera input down or something. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm using a Blue Yeti for crying out loud. Like I said, I don't need something this overkill, but I didn't want to have to upgrade in the future, so I went with this because it shoots up to 4K 120 at ridiculously high bit rates, and the HDMI output is also very high. So being able to put that straight into my PC with a capture card, I'm not going to hit any limitations with quality anytime soon, as long as I don't break it. Now these are newer NL660s, I think? They're really bright. I have eight of them to cover the whole studio, and they do a pretty good job of lighting everything up. Uh, I mean, there's still some shadows here and there, but overall I'm pretty happy with them. So I have the power supply here, which goes into the camera, which I showed before, and then this HDMI cable. I have two HDMI cables linked over this adapter. Uh, this HDMI just goes over and then down into my Elgato 4K60 MK2, which just has the one input, one output. I've never messed with the output actually, uh, but yeah, I just have that plugged in there. That goes into Live to capture the video. This disgusting mess of wires is my PC. So I have the Xbox and the Switch going to this Avermedia capture card, which goes in the USB into the PC. And I swap between those two or my face cam, which is a Sony A7 III. I also have my C920 just sitting back there for when I'm lazy and don't want to plug this in. I'm I'm like 32% sure I have my mic settings right now. Let's just start with my main headset. I use the Valve Index. Pretty pretty basic. I mean, everyone knows what an index is. That's what I mainly use. Uh, so I have four base stations. One's mounted in this corner, one's mounted in that corner, and then coming out to here, I have one up right here, and then one all the way in the back. That way, not only the green screen area is tracked, but also out here. I usually, like if I'm playing VR chat or something, I'll have my chair out here. That way it doesn't scuff up the floor, even though the floor's already kind of scuffed up. And then I can walk back and forth in 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 inside this entire area, which makes the play space massive, as well as if I was to do like track camera stuff with a tracker on my camera, I can move back and forth and have this all tracked, uh, but I don't do that. So these are my Beat Saber pair of index controllers. They have tennis overgrip, which I can link. Uh, they're getting really dirty, but this helps with grip and just stickiness overall. It does affect the finger tracking a bit, and the grip when you're like grabbing stuff in some games doesn't work nearly as well. But that is why I also picked up a second index, which I have for these controllers. Another reason I only use these for Beat Saber is both of the sticks have stick drift and they're out of warranty. So these are drop lab shoes. They're haptic shoes uh, that I did a review of a while back. If you want to check out that video, it's, uh, it's, 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 I have my 3.0 Vive trackers laced into them, and I wear these whenever I'm like in VR chat or anything that I need full body tracking for. Uh, so I have those two, and then I have this 
which is a yo-yo string tied to a 3.0 tracker on a belt. B Haptics Tech Suit. Uh, X40 I believe I just got this and started using it I haven't done much with it but it's really really cool uh, I might do videos with it later on here's my quest 2 setup uh, right now I have a thrill seeker VR cover on it the elite strap with the battery which has already snapped and is taped together and the rebuff reality VR ears and I'll be doing an unboxing slash review of these they are the early access edition but they sound way better. They're comparable to the Index, but I would say they're a little bit lacking on the bass. That could just be my own ears, but other than that, they sound amazing. I also have a Quest 1 that sits in that case. I also have this box here, which has a CV1 and my spare Index in it. We don't need to look at that. Wasn't the whole point of this video clickbait? Do I just need to add stuff to get the numbers up? I got a drone in here. There's a 2080 Ti in here that's, it, it's in there. Wonder how much this garage door opener is worth. Something I do get the questions about. This lightsaber. This is made by Ultra Sabers and I do not recommend them whatsoever. Their tech's outdated, the battery life is terrible. Their, uh, their software for changing the colors and everything is garbage. Uh, not a NeoPixel Saber. Overall, way overpriced for what you get and not really worth it, so go look for a NeoPixel company. If you're a NeoPixel company and you want to sponsor me and send me a bunch of free lightsabers, hit me up. So now to successfully clickbait this, I need to tally everything up. Right. I just recorded this whole thing and my mic was plugged into a USB hub which was making it buzz so now I gotta figure out what I said. So you're probably wondering how did you get all the money to afford all this stuff like are you rich and the answer is no I, I didn't I didn't buy all this stuff for that price because most of this stuff in my setup I purchased used. All of my peripherals, all these monitors, the PC itself, the camera I'm shooting on, I bought all of it used. Now there are some exceptions like the FX3 and the lens that I bought brand new, but that was because I needed it for my now business. But up until I guess I considered myself a content creator, everything before that I had pretty much bought used. And not only did I buy it used, but a lot of this stuff has come from buying and selling different setups and then keeping what I want. I guess I can explain that further. I think the first gaming PC I got had a GTX 1080, and that was during the time that the GPU mining boom was happening. So I was able to sell the GTX 1080 and buy a 970 to almost pay off for the entire PC in the first place. And then I found a HTC Vive on RC groups for $150 in 2018 when it was like one of the best headsets around. And that's how I got into VR because I was able to almost get into it at no cost. From there I was able to get a CV1 for I think $100 after I sold the Vive for like $250 and then a gaming laptop that was a little bit less than what I was able to sell the gaming PC for. And that was a setup that I had when I went homeless. And again, the reason a lot of my peripherals are used is I'll buy entire gaming PC setups from people who are getting out of gaming, and I'll resell the PC after taking out whatever like SSDs I want or keeping the monitors. All of these monitors are from different PC setups that I've bought and resold. The latest example that's really nutty is the camera that I'm using right now. There was someone who was selling a bunch of stuff as a package deal, so I got the camera, the kit lens that's on it, the 70-200 to lens, the Weeble S gimbal, the tripod that it's sitting on, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, two gear backpacks, a GoPro Hero 9 with a media mod, flip screen mod, and the light mod, a GoPro Max, GoPro Gimbal, DJI Mavic Mini 2 Flymore Combo, an Asus ROG gaming laptop with a 1660 Ti and a 10th Gen i7 and an Xbox controller. I bought it, I think, for $3,450, which is around the price of just the camera and the lenses. And yeah, that was a lot of money to drop on gear, but when you think about it, I can resell maybe half of that 
and break even and keep the rest for free. In fact, I sold my Hero 8 because now I have the Hero 9 and I was able to sell that at a profit and then I sold my old laptop which is a 1070 i7, I think an 8th gen, and kept this laptop which is newer and also made a profit off of that. So I guess my whole point with this is like, I don't like working to make money and then spending that money on stuff I want. I'd rather get the stuff I want and use the stuff I want to get more stuff that I want. <laughs> Which doesn't really make any sense, but it's working. And again, this takes a lot of time. I've spent hours on Facebook Marketplace. I did like a 12 hour round trip to get one of the PCs that I got in Texas. And I've made some sketchy meetups at like Walmart at 12 a.m. in the parking lot. But I haven't gotten stabbed yet, so... Anyway, I thought I'd just address that because a lot of kids ask me, how do you how do you get a VR? How, how can you afford that? And it's not by getting a job. Because I don't have one of those. I don't know how to make money correctly. Actually, the best part about all of this is I procrastinated for so long on finishing this video that I'm moving in a week and a half. No, no, I'm moving in a week. It's a week away. This whole- I'm moving this whole thing. I'm completely redoing my entire setup, so none of this is valid anymore. I'm gonna have to make a whole new setup video. So, uh... I guess that'll come out next year at this rate. Logan. Shut up, Brian. Okay. I'm recording.